All right, Shalom, Akim. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And I also want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the elect. A Zahab, a spirit wind Judah. And today I want to go into a topic explaining how Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, takes care of his elect. All right, so I'm just going to start. <clears throat> Um, with Matthew the 6th chapter And I'm going to start the 25th verse It says Therefore I say unto you <clears throat> Take no thought for your life What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink Nor yet for your body What ye shall put on Is not the life more than meat And the body more than raiment Behold The fowls of the air For they sow not neither do they reap Nor gather into barns Yet your heavenly father feedeth them are ye not much better than they? So for brothers, just <clears throat> you know, you living paycheck to paycheck, or you just living life on the edge, like monetarily or whatever it may be. All right, it's not you that's feeding yourself; it's the Most High providing tools for you to feed yourself. And that the Most High can provide for animals who don't even have jobs, who doesn't clock in, birds don't clock in. That's what the scripture's saying. Birds don't toil and reap. They don't have farms. They don't plant their food. They get up and they have faith that a worm, a worm, a worm is gonna be on the ground. A worm is gonna be on the ground, man. They have faith in that, man. All right. So I'm gonna read verse 26 again. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Because even animals they gather into barns. They're fed by human people. They're fed by farmers. Birds don't even have a barn. They just they live off the land, man. <laughs> you know? Which of you taking in thought can add one cubit unto his statue? Verse 28. And why take ye thought for raiment? Raiment is clothing, man. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Once again, the lilies of the field don't labor, man. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So even King Solomon wasn't arrayed like the li lilies of the field. So the Most High kept him decked out. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? And that's a reality check, man. If we get nervous, you get nervous, and it's like, oh, man, what I'm going to do now? How, how my money going to come in? That's you showing little faith. Like a brother had a video, the topic was, fear is a sign of little faith. All right, verse 31. Therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Yeah, a nation is not under the most high, or even a two-thirds. They have that mindset. I got I to gotta go hustle, man. I don't know how to eat, bro. I got to go get it. I gotta work over, over, overtime, or, or like I'm gonna get something to rob somebody. I guess I have to steal, catch somebody slipping. That's a gentile state of mind. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go con somebody for money. All right. Um, uh, verse thirty-three. This is the point. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So as long as you dedicate yourself to this work, the Most High will provide the rest, man. It's like working for a job. All right, if you work for a particular job, say, for an example, like AmeriCorps or whatever, if you work for that particular job, they're going to provide the food and shelter. We understaff under employment of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to do the works. So he's going to provide us the, 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 the raiment, the clothing, okay? That's actually a blessing to have to watch your weight to make sure you're not gaining weight, man. That's, this has to be one of the only countries where we do that, man. All right? Verse 34, and you know, in that context, verse 34, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take the th thought for the things itself, because the days are spirits, man, all right, and everything is already predestined, the book is already written, you just have to have faith that you are already, you are a part of a story that has already been written, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, so it's already written in this book that Having the necessities is enough trouble in itself. And, and and that speaks truth because we basically working to make ends meet. 
All right. So from there, I'm going to go to Job 26 and 7. This is Job 26 and 7. It says, He stretched, stretched out the north over the empty place, that he, that he is Yahweh, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, and hangeth the earth upon nothing. All right, so I brought this out to show you that the Most High can have this this spear, which this is proof that the earth is not flat. If the most I can get this spear, this three-dimensional spear that you are inhabiting, that you inhabit, if you could get this earth and have it floating in the middle of nowhere, if he could hold the sun in the middle of the universe, purposely uh, calculate it at the right angle on top of the earth to keep the whole earth uh, with solar energy, keep the stars inhabited in the middle, floating in the middle of nowhere, all right, despite what they say about gravity. Gravity keeps thing, things going down while it's the earth in the middle of nowhere, man. If this heavenly father could keep this earth in the middle of nowhere and cause it to rotate, what causes the earth to rotate? Esau could tell you that the speed is rotating, but he can't tell you really how it's rotating or even why it's rotating. He can tell you why it's rotating. He can't tell you how. All right. If you can have this ball in the middle of nowhere that you're inhabiting, spinning in the middle of nowhere with the big fireball giving you life and giving the, everything on this planet life that also floating in the, on top of that ball in the middle of nowhere all right can't he put food in your mouth all right so i'm gonna read this again job 26 and 7 he stretches out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing all right and that earth is hanging upon nothing you're inhabiting it man all right so from there i want to get um Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9 It says I'm going to get it right quick They that put their trust In him Who is that him? It's the heavenly father Your earthly father provides But your heavenly father ultimately provides man. They put they that put their trust in him Should understand the truth Yeah, we, Part of the truth is understanding That everything that is functioning And has breath on this planet Is because the Most High put his energy, energy in every living thing, man. And the Most High feeds every infinitesimal microorganism on this planet Earth, including you. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect, man. So you how willing with his elect, he hath care for us, man. Somebody that cares for you is going to make sure you have food in your mouth and clothes on your back. All right, I'm going to close it out with Sirach 39 and 33, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, this is Sirach 39 and 33. All the works of Yahweh are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. All right, it says, all the works of Yahweh are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. So anything you need, you don't have to worry about it. Just pray to Yahweh and and do the works, and that's going to come. So one thing I know is about this truth When you focus on this truth Everything falls into play You can put in a hundred applications But if you put this truth first They'll call you All right? They're going to call you man All right? You could go to a hundred bars You could go to a hundred dating sites You can ask a hundred women for that number And none of it Most of them be on some BS But if you put this truth first She'll come towards your way man Alright Same thing with food and ramen man Hey, but with that, I hope you brothers are edified. All praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, who provides. All right, into the next lesson. Shalom.